Boop, boop, boop. Alright, hello everybody, my name is Rune Eldred, and welcome back to another live stream of Red Dead Redemption. Um, I am live streaming this early in the morning today on October 25th, because Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out later on today. And, uh, I'm working on beating the rest of this game by today. Yeah, I don't think I should jump off that. And, uh, so I have two hours before my math class starts at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna stream this for the two hours before my math class. Go to math class, go run, pay some bills, and then come back and stream the last half of this game. All within the time that Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out today. Or, well, comes out. And my first episode for Red Dead Redemption 2 will air... Uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So with that being said, um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this stream. Um, I highly, highly doubt anybody's actually going to come and watch the stream itself. Moreover, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video of me live streaming this. But uh, yeah. And on, excited. Friend. What's this guy want? If you're game, maybe you'd like to earn a little something searching around abouts for a few plants I'm allowed on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants wins on the bet. Sure. Oh, I guess I don't have enough money to accept that, and I wasted a survivalist map. That's that's good to get, good to know. I actually have a person watching this right now, so that's actually pretty surprising for 6.30 in the morning. I needed to kill that rabbit, and I did not. But I'm not looking to complete side challenges right now. I really just want to hit through the main mission. Which leads me to want to jump off the horse and just build a camp. Improvised camp set. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm rambling on. I'm still slightly droggy. I just jumped out of the shower. Um, Travel to destination. An armadillo. Let's travel. I probably should have started the stream already pre in armadillo. But uh, yeah. I know I have a lot to complete in the short amount of time of pretty much just today. But um, I'm going to get as much done as I can in the two hours I have here. And then from there, I am going to... Is there a stranger? Yes, there is. Alright, let's see what's going on here. I count the strangers as part of the main missions because they're important. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. Mm. These bastards won't do anything. It's the hill have eyes, man. people. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been... He's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't remember if, if it really gone, is cannibals or if it was an animal. We got much money. And I'm with a hmm. family wagon. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Poor lady. Alright, where's my horse at? Alright, let's hit the map. American's appetite. Let's get on up. So if it's a human, I'm going to lasso him and bring him back. If it's an animal, then I'm just going to kill it and skin it. Coral Springs. It feels so good being back in this game, though, I'm not going to lie. So I'm really excited for tonight to jump into the second game. Um... Map. Did 
Did I, I turn the wrong way? Is it over this way? Is it through the gap? What the heck? Alright, a little lost, but I'm just gonna travel up this way. Come on! I mean, my arrow's pointing north, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, area's up over here. Oh crap, what do you know? There's an actual person here. Alright. You gotta help me, mister! Oh, 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 mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg! What? He broke my leg! Some city fella. Guy got kind of... creepy on me. Hmm. And he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I, I, I already... I'll do anything. This is a nightmare! <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I already know that this guy is innocent. Just by the way, the guy laughed and celebrated as I walked away. So, I'm gonna have Don't the hog to... Don't take me back to that man! Away from me. Uh, uh. Hey, fella. Uh, <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> um, what, John? Don't just walk away. Duster outfit. You're coming with me, buddy. I mean, I can't read what that says down at the bottom. Uh, give me a quick second. Deadly assassin menu entry updated. Cool. Let's uh, let's see what deadly assassin's all about. Oh. I think it's an outfit. Alright, we'll see. We'll see a little bit on. Put Shut victim up. on no horse. The horse. <laughs> Let's go. I'ma bring you back down to Armadillo so they can deal with you. And if Armadillo won't deal with you, then I'm just going to drop you on the train tracks. That's sensible justice. Alright. I'm like, all I can think about right now is just Red Dead Redemption 2. I, it's supposed to have 60 hours of, like, story. So I'm like really excited to do like 80 videos of it.
Uh, I can't help you right now. Morning, mister. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Put it this way. The wife won't be answering back anytime soon. Can I, can I leave him in a cell? You on the horse. If I can't take you into the sheriff's office, then I'm just gonna do the justice myself. How should I dispose of the cannibal? gentleman caller you remind me of my peter have you seen him i don't think so where is that man we'll be late for the ceremony he must still be at the saloon in armadillo talking to the musicians he's such a fine man <laughs> must be making things right for me as usual well i gotta get going ma'am I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please. Sir. As you stand in a burnt Something must down. have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. At least John's a nice man. I wonder how John's gonna be in the in two though. Ooh, do I know the perfect way to get rid of you. I'm gonna plant you down. The chapel. Make you, uh, repent for your sins of cannibalism. Hmm, <gasps> in the church or in a grave? In a grave. The grave would be a better spot. Come on, let's go. I wish John could run faster with a man on his back, but I, I get the realism in that. Is there an open grave anywhere around here? Nope, all these graves are all done, Doug. Might just lay down on another person's grave. Okay, sir. Today you are going to be... If I can line this up, right? Close enough. See? You'll soon be free. Double tap just to make sure he stays dead. Oh. I don't want to know what a uh, uh, cannibal has on him. Can't even see. Alright, here we go. 
exhuming and other find something. Oh, it's this guy. I remember this guy. So yeah, uh, to let me know when it's time to get ready to go for class, I have an alarm set. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. Here lies Joseph Baird. Died April 1st, 1878. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, Fred? Well, I mean, that's what a map does, is tell you where it is. I <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Cowboy of no name. Are the same. The self same. That must have been an online player. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Let's do it. Come on, then, partner. All right, where are we going? How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Alright, so I'm trying to think. In the pretty much hour that I have left to play this, I'm going to try to get through at least four more missions. I just heard you say something. And then You're once I go to math man. class and get you back, get that head at. Seth, I should be back I need around 11 a.m. My time. I was told you could time, help me, but so. I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste. I think I'll have enough time so, to maybe beat the game today if Bill I really Williams, grind it out. Do you? You know Bill? Like don't oh, yeah. just run around I'm and do random Williamson stuff. And Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when I'm really they get excited to jump on Red Dead 2. Doing. That's what I'm really, really excited for. Who do things most other fellas now, and I'm glad I, I bought it digital so I that way I don't have to wait for uh, Assuming you help me wait in line at work. Uh, that'd been horrible. Wait in line at work just for the game to come Master. out. Pick up my copy. Even though I really wish I would because the game stop I work at is doing a blackjack. In like the back room, so, so about this map? that'd have been Nothing fun. Much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. 
Oh, I lost it all, partner. I really want to know how John Marston will be in Red Dead 2. Good riddance to them all. Because this one, he's very calm and collective. I don't wash and I don't care. And I know he talks about his past quite often in this game. As him being a worse man, it's since you don't play as John Marston. You play as, like, Alex Morgan or something. I forget the main character's name that you play as. So I'm very curious. There's no difference between night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Just run in, shoot the place. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Oh, cool. I'm about to become an outlaw. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. I can take the horse. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Stay away from them animals! Hey, what the hell are you doing? Come on, you man. Come on. Yeah, they'll pursue me. No, they're gonna try to come on me. I shoot the horses out from under the cops, then I'm not shooting the cops. So and thus, I won't get my wanted level. Higher than 20. Come on, get off the rock. I've been killing their horses, they just spawned a new horse. Come on, come on.
Oh. Okay, so actually killing them is bad. Okay. This is one god awful assignment. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Bim's our horses. Could be. Now maybe hopefully losing them or not losing them while being caught up in a tree. Come on. I'm wasting precious time here. Come on. Come on. my horse up. Come on, horse. There we go. There's my war horse. Alright. Come on! Ain't no time to be wasted. You're the one just standing here. getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. I could have just shot them both in the head. Ended all the trouble Moses? there. Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! What's this got to do with you? 
You got everything to do with me, partner. This ain't none of your... Son of a bitch! Why are you doing this? And you're welcome. Let me just pick you, you up and carry you back. Stupid trust in that crazy bastard. Just name your price. Yeah, I know I can put him on my horse. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Seth's just right here. He ain't that far away. Who do you think you are, mister? Even though it is taking me a good minute to walk to him. It's mine now. You hear me, Moses? Mine. 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 Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth. Damn you, Seth. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah, <sighs> Sounds like a good partner, <laughs> Seth. Piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to come to a bone <coughs> man's flesh. He never come to a live one before. Uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Stay away from me, partner. Howdy. I hear they found some treasures hidden under that frontier bridge. Go speak to that fella. Let's get this over with. Here. I've Last been given night, a part. A drunken rustler told me he hid some gold in that Cueva Seca caves. Cueva Seca. Hmm. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. All right, good. That was that was simple. That was simple. Uh, um. Now why walk when you can ride, mister? Hello there. That face. A wonderful. Share marvelous. Hi, sir. My, my. Take a look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you Thank say. Thank you. Cold, okay. tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the west for a monthly back east you know i'm uh, sending them my oh so witty and oh so pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain so it's action i'm after and action i'm gonna find too <laughs> wild men mm, cheap women you know, guns that sort of thing 
<laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> what, what, what does that say now? That says something. I got, sorry. Funny man journal entry added. Alright. Are you still here for any reason other than no my Christmas? Thanks, I don't want to walk. I'm buying newspaper, though. Oh, damn, that's interesting. I sincerely thank you. No, thank you. Blackwater Ledger. Civil unrest returns to Mexico. Stretch Hawthorne. King of Beans. Oh, cool, dude. Here's one. A kidnapped woman found alive. Rancher's daughter Bonnie McFarlane kidnapped from her home in Hennington Steed, New Austin. Between Armadillo Lawman and Bill Weston's gang at Tumbleweed. Suspenster of 29 years. Oh, wow. Didn't know Bonnie was uh, 29 years old. Everyone <laughs> wants a piece of Hal Pollard. All right, let's take a look at that good old map. So Armadillo seems like the place I need to go. Great Pains, Tall Armadillo. All right, so I'm just gonna have this guy drive me on all over to Armadillo. My apologies. Is is that of importance? Am I am I supposed to? There's no new edition of newspaper. Okay. Now why walk when you can ride, Mister? I'm riding. I'm riding. Tell me where to go, Mister. Armadillo. Armadillo. Might as well get some sleep, Mister. I need a rest. Skip to destination. It it saves like five ten minutes. Like horseback in there. I know when Red Dead Two comes out, I'm a horseback all the time, mainly because I want to. I want to experience it. Right, cool. Thank you. Howdy. Five finger flow. Here we go here. Look out, ball man. You blinded by the back. What are you in here, partner? Yeah. Howdy. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? <laughs> Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. <laughs> the dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stage, coach. If you could... Convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. What's Elizabeth? We can't cop to that. I'd rather save my money. Excuse me, miss? Er, uh, Rose? If that useless whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please, if only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. You sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. 
Damn. Uh, what, what does that say down by your name? I'm sorry, I, I, I gotta read this. Hogtie or threaten Rose? You know what, no, she's, she's entitled. She don't wanna get married, she ain't gonna get married. I'll pay the dude five dollars. Here, this might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night, sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. Well, handsome. Running low. Really? Things aren't what they were. All right. Um, I want to run up into these stores real quick. Howdy. Maybe the scab herders have it. Howdy, friend. Uh, survivalist map again. Horse pills. Uh, those are just horses. Okay. What can I trade though? Market for interesting goods. I got some stuff we're selling, but nothing to sell yet. Um. I'm gonna buy myself medicine for health stuff. I don't know. Hey, mister. You need something for that gout? Nah. As long as I stay in cover, dude, I don't need to worry about health. Watch yourself there. Ain't there enough space here? Be it was the devil's ammo capacity. I'll buy anything that meets my strict standard. I knew she was a soil dove. Nice doing business. Transaction. Might as well sell it. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. <sighs> Buy that for now, and then I'll get the shotgun later. Good. I got what I need. I wish I was dead. Alright, let's, uh, we will, uh, go over this way, towards Ridgewood, head over to Nigel's, get Nigel's mission done. Actually, if I make it to this guy before my horse makes it to me, I'm just gonna stagecoach it. Nope, my guy's making it to me. Whoop. Alright, here we go. On the road again. Oof. That water was trying to come back up. Come on. Come on. What, what are my challenges again for this? Survivalist, six desert stage, five coyotes, and a rabbit. That's not hard. Let's go. I'm pull out my Winchester. Peter Turner killed by a blow to the head. He will never he will never dance with anything. Oh, 
was a little bit of travel just to find out that the guy died. Well, I mean, now we're gonna head over to Nigel Weston. Alright, next flower one I'll pick up. I need to see if it's Desert Sage. That's what, what are you out here? Was it? What was it? Was it? Desert Sage. Alright, cool. So this is Desert Sage out here. Liars, cheats, and other something. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Now you see, Mr. Boston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, but before we can attend to your particular I can't tell problems, if my hair is glitching um, oh, or if it's trying to look like it's waving in the wind. To oil the machinery of business and uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, 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 we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without All right, reproach. so you want me to race? Exactly. The kind of... Activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> you can tell my character just wants to kill him. Skip to destination. Unless they're having a conversation, then in that case, I just kind of messed that up. Should I just slaughter the competition now? Here we are, John! Gap Tooth Reach! Oh, I can't ride the actual horse. I have to get in the carriage. Drivers, y'all know the rules. But for you newcomers, no, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the faster cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. 
Sounds legit. I'm glad this worked out best for me. I tried drifting the horse carriage. Ugh. Oh, did they incorporate more races in Red Dead 2? There is no reason why I need to move my car backwards. I am up in first. I plan to stay in first. I'm being showed all the fun things I could do to uh, West Dickens. I wish you would tell me how soon I am to finish in this race. I'm pretty sure I'm close though. Yeah, again, I knew I was pretty close. I did the train game. Perfect race. Didn't wreck. Didn't hit anybody. Hell of a race, Mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mister West Dickens. ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, okay, I guess I'm already here. I can't skip test. Fun. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Wow. John could really pick his friends. That fun. All 
Alright, let's uh, hit the map real quick. West Dickens, Greenview. Alright, let's see what West Dickens want. Where are we heading, mister? I think John does a lot of resting. It's amazing I got anything done in the waterfront too. Alright. Can a swindler change something? Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. Mm. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come and let's Is go really acting some of selflessly our fine if you're acting the selfishly other first. We have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, now I'm have to kill all these guys. Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, well, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody, get this thief back! Saint Homo Bonus is not looking down on me favorably. Who? Homo Bonus! In every sense of the word, my dear boy. You need to listen to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robin Banks felt more honest than this. <laughs> yes, we got him. Great shot. Never aim wrong with the Winchester. Good job. You're gonna leave this in a block. Better be the last mission I do for this guy. Right. What do you want from me? And yeah, Nigel, you should watch your head. Come on. 
in. Looking for who? Good job, I brought enough ammunition. Let me just reload. Well, looks like the global expansion of the West Indian collection might have come a crop. Nonsense. Just another bump on science's rocky road. shells unless Nigel keeps handing me more shells. and do for me. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Well, that was fun. Oh, I gotta come back to the. Oh, uh, no.
Let's use the improvised campsite. Gentleman's attire. Deadly assassin. Search Cute's chapel. Holton's gang. I got one left. Eliminate all other players in a game of poker and armadillo. Search Thieves Landing. Claim a Bollard Twins gang bounty alive. Discovered. Duster. I'm going to go with the duster look, man. I like it. Um, let's see. Go back to Seth. Destination, travel to Waypoint. Alright. I'm so not ready for this math test. Woo. Alright. It's chap. Wait a second. What was I supposed to do here? For an outfit, there was one. Involved this place. These landing. I can have another outfit right here now. A gentle drive with friends. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Or not. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You get what you need. You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. Oh. I know. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take Please don't say eat them or rape them. And look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right, let's giddy up. All right, I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. All right, well, let's hope that it doesn't take me forever to get there. Stay left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. I'm like, I gotta get ahead of this trend. Rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! We don't see them bodies first! Give them up, you thieving bastards! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! Here's my man! Oh my! Oh my! Is this the quickest you can go? They lit me on fire, dude. Calm down. Thank you, my friend. You hide something from Seth. Oh, you naughty little boy.
been a pleasure meeting you. Go left here, partner! Just going on a little trip. And I fame the rocket ship. Oh, look here! I found me a few bullets! Busting through the sky. Keep it up, your pal! Make a left! wagon are barely on. Finally! Months of searching! I'm gonna be rich beyond my wildest dreams! Maybe then you can take them back. <laughs> Thanks, Bye, mister. John. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich! When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister! Uh. Got another Seth thing up over here. Might as well go check it out. Dead oh, it's like treasure. that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, <laughs> the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, That's quite a stint. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Hey, right, well, let's go to the big abandoned house. I like how loud the thunder is in this. It's very booming. It's an ambush! They must be with you! It's mine! I found them! Honest to God, don't see anybody. What the hell do I do now? Crap, if I don't see him, then I might as well run up on him. This can't be happening! This way! Come on! Oh my, oh my! Sneaky sons of bitches! Alright, well that was a good shot.
volcanic. Yeah, I'll just stick with the Winchester. Damn, this one's locked. Let's check the back. Gosh darn, hold up. It's the middle of the night, man. Go on! We ain't got much time! We're in luck! Okay, I'd have to get him. Alright. Oh, like Let's better go. Dead. We all know you do, buddy. Come on, please! Gosh, I can't take this him by creepy. myself! You can't take it by yourself, you're not even trying. Don't leave any alive! What's happening? What are you gonna do? Huh? You got a problem with me! You can't give it all! That's my damn treasure! You really worked me up! You really want to die? Think you can just walk in here? Okay, come on. Any other treasure? Kill nope, them all! We're going upstairs. It's mine! I found it! After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, Mister. <laughs> Glad he's happy. The goddamn hell is this? A glass eye? Huh? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. When you think about it, the shit that he has done. Just for the glass eye. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. All right, cool. I'm done with him. Does that mean I get the glass eye? Interior now, glasses and glasses officers and all to turn a blind eye. That's good. This is mighty generous of you, mister. Now, I very much so like to get out of this house. Impossibly, this town.
Come on, that's not even fair, man. This town is so huge. Let's go. I have to go on for days to get out of here. Actually, not really. It's just right over this hill. Don't die. I died. My first death. I think this is my first death. I don't remember if I've died before. Oh well. I don't think you lose anything on death. And if I did, so what? Um, I just realized people are in. Alright, so let's go over to... How much time do I got left? 7.44. And we'll go do, hopefully, this final mission for Nigel. Hopefully. I'm really real sick and tired of Nigel's missions. I don't really care for his. I'm excited to go and do Irish stuff, though. The Irish mission should be fun. 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. Oh, crap. Alright. Can I... Wrong button. Set up camp here. I can. So I'm just going to set up camp right here. Waypoint. Irish, number. actually, I'm just going to Armadillo, so. I'll just Armadillo. I'm not happy, man. I have a test in fifth, like, not that much time. It's a math test on top of that. Nobody likes math tests. Unless you're a mathematician, then in that case you don't really mind math tests, but I don't want to go in and do stats. Alright, let's meet a Frenchman, a Welshman, and something else. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Hmm. This ain't nothing to do with you. That was embarrassing. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me. Of course. Follow. Of course it'll be a bit of a ride. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. All right, let's hope I have enough time for this mission. What's your name? This will friend? definitely John. be the last one I John do. Marston. 
choke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always called me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an egg what? from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The Teven bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Alright, let's go down there. What the hell do you want, lady? Back off now before I put a hole in your skull! God damn it! That was beautiful. I don't care what anybody has to say on that. That right there was beautiful. Die, you son of a bitch! Kiss my. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Okay. Let's see what you got. I can't see what he got. I know it's money because I can see the green, but that's about it. Alright, how much time do I have? Oh, I have enough time for maybe if I'm lucky. Nigel's mission. And then when I get back, I'll take out the Bill Williams, Williams gang. Yeah, because Irish is... Okay. Travel to destination, waypoint. It may still be too early, actually. I just thought of that. I should have looked at the time. Oh, I may have came just at the nick of time. The sport of kings and Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more 
subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. All right, fun. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I guess I'm taking my own horse. That's kind of oh, fucked. I wanted... Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Uh, You're uh, such uh, a successful go. business. Delightful and Kensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy? That's God? fucked. Come. All right. Cool. So, are you ready for the race, John? I can think of better uses for my time. Better than making money? Oh, I know. I want to see. Think so, and from what I hear, you should be well practiced. What do you mean? A little bird told me you've been racing horses with that Bonnie McFarlane. Sure. Yes, a rather handsome young thing. Although I sorry about a the more quick meat interruption. Myself. I'm sure you do. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Richwood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I can give you my word. All right, so yeah, this is the last thing yeah. I have to do. So if I had more time, I'd be able to get through the Dutch Williams gang in one smooth go. All right, cool. Come on. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing. Cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready! Set! Go! Come on! Yeah! Fast! Go! Alright, so they can't shoot me when they're near people. But I mean, as long as I keep doing good like this, and even if I were to like exalt all my stamina right now, I have a horse pill that I could just give it that will like shoot up my stamina all the way. Right now, for instance. That horse pill is allowing me to go hard with my horse right now. Okay, now I'm starting to go through some of its stamina. Okay, so that guy kept up with me the entire time that I had the horse pills. Okay, 
was not trying to I'm in first. I'm happy. Yeah. Dude, if this was an online race, that would have taken a bullet to the back by now. There's my alarm. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Um, spurred to victory. Alright, so there is a stranger and freak here. Hey, partner! I need your help! You and every other fool around here! No, they took her! They took my love! They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away! What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeb's loves by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he just wants to be with his partner. Is this greenhouse here for me? No. Alright. So let me just walk up over here. Roofed campsite. Alright, let me walk further up over here. Let me just jump up off here. Alright. There we go. Alright everybody, this was the first half of the final live stream that I'll be doing for Red Dead Redemption. Um, when I get back from math class, I'm going to like just power drive through it through the rest of today and get this game done. Thank you guys for everybody who's been on this journey with me so far. I look forward to recording Red Dead Redemption 2 later tonight to show you guys the first episode tomorrow morning at 8am. 8, 8 so... Toodaloo, everybody.